My name is Wal King. Today I'll be changing the oil and oil filter on a 1999 Honda Civic. I need to drive the car up the ramp. This front lip is on the way so I need to take it out. I need to remove it. To do that I gotta remove these two screws and there's another two screw on the other side. I removed the front lips and I still can't really drive it up the ramp. I have this car on adjustable spring. So I'm gonna raise the car up with the adjustable spring. See all the hassle you gotta go through if you modify your Honda Civic. I'm not gonna record myself raising the car up with the adjustable spring. Because the point of this video is to change the oil and oil filter. If you don't have your car modified like how I did, then you shouldn't have to remove the front lips. Your car might not even have a front lips on it. And you shouldn't have to raise the adjustable spring up. You should be able to just drive it straight up the ramp. The car is raised. Now I could drive up the ramp. First thing I'm going to do is open the oil cap. I'm using this floor jack also. This is how I'm going to drain the oil. I have a 17 millimeter socket right here. I have a socket adapter. I have an extendable ratchet, give you more leverage. That's the oil pan right there. Before you get under the car, there's one thing you gotta know. You don't wanna touch that right there. This is the exhaust pipe. You don't want to touch this, it's hot, and you'll get burned. You will, I would say you want to wait at least 20 minutes to be on the safe side, maybe 30 minutes before you even want to touch this right here. Actually, you don't want to touch it even if, you, just try not to touch this. It's very hot. I almost forgot to block the rear tire with a block of wood. Okay, now I'm gonna go under the car. Again, that's the oil pan right there right there is the oil drain plug to remove it I gotta remove it and then all the oil will come out from right there remember to remove the drain plug you gotta turn it counterclockwise It's, it's hard to use a ratchet with only one hand. My other hand is holding the camera. Okay, it's loosened. Now I'm gonna get a glove to take it out. I don't wanna touch it. It will dirty my hand.
again on it. I'll need the ratchet again. And then put my glove back on. My glove is dirty, so when I hold the ratchet, I don't want to have my glove on. I'm gonna turn off the camera when this is finished. I'll turn the camera back on. It's still drippy a little. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the drain plug back on. To put it back on, you turn it clockwise. My hand can't turn it anymore, so I'm gonna use the socket and the ratchet. You don't wanna tighten it too much. You might break something, so okay, that should be good enough. The next thing I'm gonna do is take out the oil filter. I'm gonna first see if I could take it off with my hand. There is the exhaust pipe right in front of me. I think it's probably cool by now, but I still don't want to touch it. the oil filter it is dark let me get my flashlight I have some light right here but it's not bright enough to see up the oil filter okay the oil filter is right there. It's that orange and black thing coming out. I gonna try to take it out with my hand. I was able to loosen the oil filter with my hand, but I didn't remove it because if I did, oil would drip down. So here's how I gonna do this. I gonna have this right here on the bottom, and then when I when I remove the oil filter, oil will drop into here. I gonna stretch my hand out. Right now my hand is holding the oil filter. And the exhaust pipe is right in front of me right there. Okay, I'm turning the oil filter right now. Shoot, damn. Oil almost got on me. 
to take the uh, oil filter out, you gotta turn it counterclockwise. Well, I'm touching the exhaust pipe right now, and I'm not getting burned, so it looks like it's cool off. Right now, I'm turning the oil filter. Okay, I got it out. But you want to do everything you can to avoid touching the exhaust pipe. Even if the car's been turned on only for three seconds, you don't want to touch it. This is the old oil filter, and here's the new oil filter that I'll be putting on the, to the car. Just for your information, if I wasn't able to take out the old oil filter with my hand, then I'm going to use this oil filter wrench to take it out. And I'm going to use the new one as an example because I don't want to touch the old one, the old one's dirty. To take out the oil filter, you just put the oil filter wrench in like this. Use the ratchet, put it in, and just turn it counterclockwise. Right now I'm ready to install the new oil filter. The right way to install it is once the gasket the gasket is this gray black thing right here around circle. Once the gasket touch the base once this gasket touch the base then you wanna turn the filter three four two one whole turn and then it should be tight enough you want to try to avoid using the oil filter wrench when you're installing it because sometimes it'll get stuck on it and then you won't be able to take it out so if you I will not use this to install it I'm not going to Especially if you're using this specific type of filter where the there's a black end right here They probably made this thing black so you'll have a good grip on it, but it's not good for these filter. It gets stuck From my experience I get more leverage when I use glove so I'll be using this glove to help install the oil filter. I use this chalk right here to mark the oil filter so I know how far I'm gonna need to turn the filter once the gasket is touching the base. You can see the mark I did right there. So right now the base is touching the gasket of the filter and then I'm gonna turn the filter to make sure it's anywhere between 3 fourth and 1 whole turn. And the mark where I use the chalk is gonna indicate how far I turn the filter. First I'm gonna just use my hand. If I can't turn it as far as I want then I'm gonna put on the glove. I turned the filter and right now the mark is about three fourth three fourth of a turn. I gotta try to turn it more a little bit more. The turn was clockwise and here's the mark right now I was almost able to give it a whole one whole turn I didn't use my glove and I'm gonna just leave it as as it is right now I'm not gonna turn it anymore 
the filter is on, the drain plug is back on. I'm gonna just add the oil right now. This is the oil dipstick. There shouldn't be any oil on it right now because they're all drained now. And there isn't any. On your oil cap, it should say how, what kind of oil your car uses. For this one, it's 5W30. Right there is the oil I'll be using. And it is 5W30. I'm gonna put oil in, and then I'm gonna check the dipstick, and then I'm gonna drive the car off the ramp, and I'll check it one more time. Cause right now the engine is not at ground level, it's up the ramp. I gotta drive the car down the ramp right now. Don't forget to put the wheel cap back on. Right now the car is at ground level. I gonna check the oil. Right now it's about half, it's a little bit above the low, low, uh, the low side of the dipstick. I gonna take the dipstick out and hopefully it'll be the last time that I need to check for today that's the low indicator and, and that other dot circle is the full indicator And right now the oil is about up to right here so it's so I put enough in the engine and the oil change is finished. 